History is a dance of both darkness and light for humanity. As humanity walks through the fragile passages of time, it has witnessed the agonizing shadows of violence and oppression. One of these stories has become a symbol of humanity's darkest moments. The Inquisition As beliefs and ideologies clashed, people lived in fear that their thoughts were considered crimes. The Inquisition represents the darkest face of this fear. It was a mechanism of judgment, but it was used not as a tool of justice, but as a weapon of darkness. Doubt, fear, and oppression threatened people's lives and freedoms. It became the gesture of an era where thoughts were massacred. Derived from the Latin Inquisition, which etymologically means oppressive investigation, the Inquisition surpassed the boundaries of its literal definition. It systematically persisted for centuries through oppression, intimidation, torture, and executions. The roots of the Inquisition courts began to emerge during the final years of the Roman Empire when Christianity had not yet been officially embraced. However, the concept of Inquisition truly came to life in the mid-12th century. During this period, the Catholic Church transformed the Inquisition into a formal institution with the aim of identifying, preventing the spread of, and eliminating heretical beliefs and movements. This institution operated under a hierarchical structure involving bishops and the clergy. And it was during this time that the flames of the Inquisition began to rise. The Inquisition, as one of its earliest implementations, took place in 1184 under the order of Pope Lucius III. It was sent to southern France to identify members of a separatist Christian sect called Catharism, which deviated from certain doctrines of the Catholic Church. This conflict continued until the 14th century. During the same period, Pope Lucius III also declared a movement known as Waldensianism, which bore similarities to Protestantism, as heretical, thus initiating the Inquisition process. In this era, the Inquisition began to wield its power aggressively and ruthlessly, aiming to uncover and eradicate perceived heretical beliefs. With the edict issued by Pope Lucius III in the same year, a clear path was laid out for combating heresy. In line with this, all counts, barons, and other nobles affiliated with the church became responsible for providing armed assistance to the church. Citizens were also expected to report individuals they suspected of heresy. Bishops, on their part, would visit villages and towns at regular intervals to identify and apprehend heretics. Heretics would be publicly exposed and punished in front of the people. In this way, the Inquisition system aimed to eradicate heretical beliefs through strict surveillance and punishment mechanisms. The cells of the Inquisition were places where dreams drowned in infinite darkness. People waited in these cells, filled with tears and screams. The flame of hope within them weakened in the shadow of oppression. The Spanish Inquisition holds a particularly notable story among other Inquisition courts. Established by King Ferdinand II of Aragon in 1478, this inquisition was closely associated with Spain's efforts to become a unified and modern state. It emerged with a focus on targeting Jews and Muslims. In Spain's rich history, this dark period is often referred to as the Reconquista. The focal point of the Spanish Inquisition was on individuals known as conversos. These were people who, despite having Jewish ancestry, had converted to Catholic Christianity. Similarly, individuals referred to as Moriscos were those who had Muslim ancestry but had converted to Christianity. However, the Spanish Inquisition doubted the sincerity of their conversion and alleged that they secretly continued to practice their previous beliefs. In his pursuit of establishing a unified state and consolidating his power on the throne, King Ferdinand II banned all religions and sought to gain the support of the church. The Spanish Inquisition courts operated between 1478 and 1492, resulting in the expulsion of approximately 200,000 Jews and Muslims. 
During this period, Spain was marked by intolerance and discrimination under the dark shadow of the Inquisition. Indeed, these events point to a period in which the Spanish Inquisition ruthlessly ruled and displayed a lack of tolerance towards different beliefs. This dark chapter in Spain's history left a profound mark, reflecting a time when people's right to freely practice their beliefs was disregarded. The Inquisition was a fearful period in human history where people turned their eyes suspiciously towards one another and thoughts that left a dark imprint on humanity were silenced. It was a time when trust was undermined and the voices of dissent were suppressed. Today, the memory of the Inquisition calls us to learn from the mistakes of the past and strive to build a more just world. Our struggle for freedom and justice should never cease. The Inquisition courts are a part of our history and serve as a reminder of the power of humanity. To leave a better world for future generations, we must understand and never forget this dark period. Humanity will continue to progress towards a future illuminated by the light of art, science, and love. Thanks for watching and we hope you enjoyed this video. As always, remember that our learning journey is never ending and we'll continue to explore new knowledge together. Until next time.